Here we go, craft room tour. So just a little bit about myself real quick in case you find this and you don't know me. My name is Dawn Bryson. I go by the Chatty Stamper on the internet. And today I'm giving a quick tour of my teeny tiny craft room. Um, I'm going to be real. Um, things aren't all organized and perfect. Not everything matches. Some things are old and used. But this is what works for me and with what I can do with what I have. So hopefully some of these little tips will give you guys ideas. And if not, you just get a little peek into my world and how I create. So I am going to spin you around here. Let me see. I'm going to back up and show you the whole room. It's super tiny. I mean, I could lay down and probably touch the other side of it. This is the whole room. Try it. Uh, I hope this doesn't make you guys dizzy. So anyway, here we go. Ooh, hope you're not making you dizzy. All right, so starting at the door, back of the door storage, we all have that. Uh, I just have punches on it. Punches are kind of outdated. I will eventually get rid of these. I thought maybe that would be a good place to put um, pockets for embellishments. So I don't know, we'll see, we'll get there. My embellishment area is a mess and you'll see that in a minute. So this table here is from Aldi. It was like a $20 table. It's just plastic. It works great for my light box. Um, it's collapsed. You see how it's kind of smushed? What I would like to do is find uh, a friend of mine and see if he can make me a wooden box. Um, well, it's my friend's husband. A wooden box to put that in so it's not falling down. So if anyone has a hint for that, please let me know. Um, up there, I just keep some uh, like decorative stuff. Um, but I do want to show you this, and that's the only reason I'm mentioning it, is how cool these are. These are antique stamps that I got at an antique store in Cape May. Um, they use them in bookmaking, but the plastic is hard as a rock because um, they're so old. But I thought they were cool. And then I just keep uh, some wooden stamps that I didn't want to get rid of um, up there. So when you're in a small space, you use every inch of it. So this little corner between the cabinet and the wall I keep some bulk stuff. This container right here keeps all my Tim Holtz Halloween supplies and other Halloween supplies, but I bought the stuff to do um, the coffin, um, and I unfortunately wasn't able to work on it this year. So that all goes in there. I kind of keep Christmas and Halloween separate because um, I don't have a whole lot of space, um, and I don't use that year round. So on top of that is flowers and big things that I use in the light box, papers for the light box. Now this cabinet, um, I got the stuff to paint it for Christmas. So when spring comes, I'll be cleaning it. It was just a used cabinet that I got. But a cabinet like this is real important. Um, as uh, crafters, and I mainly card make, uh, d dabble in mixed media, just so you know. Um, but we have bulk items, items that we need like for use. So this cabinet kind of plays a, a big part of keeping those items that we don't use every second um, away and tidy. Um, the top of it's kind of a mess. I just have some old scrapbooks, um, washi tape, um, my film pins, you know, just stuff like that. Stuff that I'm not really going to touch. And some things that I got in my room, I have um, that will eventually be for like a real room that I get. Or not a real room, like a bigger room or a bigger space. Um, my husband and I have been looking for a house with a basement that we could finish so that he, he can have a music area and I can have my craft room down there. But anyway, um, so this cabinet, I keep all the bulk stuff in here, all the foils, sequins, watercolors, um, specialty paints. This second shelf has all cards, birthday cards, all occasion cards. I kind of try to separate them a little bit. That goes on that shelf. This shelf is pretty, um, uh, pretty important. This is all tapes, E6000, just scotch tape, uh, packing tape gun, um, uh, glue gun, just all, all tapes, adhesives, things like that go in there. Um, these ones have all the mixed media supplies. So, you know, your crackle paint, your gesso, all that stuff. All, alcohol ink supplies. Now, some people buy every color of alcohol ink because they're alcohol ink artists. For me, I bought some colors that I thought would go well together, things that I knew I would use. And I kept the collection small. Um, I've been crafting for about 20 years. And that have to have it all syndrome for me is starting to leave. Just because it's on clearance doesn't mean you have to buy it. I, I rather focus money on stamps. 
um, and things that are current. And I do purge often, which is an unpopular opinion. Um, I got rid of a lot of old stuff that just isn't in style anymore. And then people say, well, what if it comes back in style? Then I'll buy it again because it'll be different and it'll be new and it'll be fresh. So I do get rid of like a lot of old stuff. It was a, a running joke on um, one of my live videos that I did about getting rid of all my brads. So Echo Noble, a uh, friend of mine, sent me brads for Christmas. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes you do regret, but keeping all that stuff that's stealing your joy and keeping you from using current things and just overwhelming you, I just get rid of them. So I know that's an unpopular opinion. So down here, this is um, the rest of the Halloween supplies. These are uh, baskets with all my um, pictures, like stuff that I use for pictures. This basket I try to keep with current seasons. So this is all Christmas. I just haven't put it away and got spring out yet. Um, this bottom shelf. Bottom shelves of anything are kind of hard. So I keep bulk stuff down here. So this is all my DVD cases that I keep dyes in. And I'll explain why I do that in a minute. This, um, when I'm doing live videos, all the supplies for the card go in this, and then I just get that out so I'm kind of organized, and bulk envelopes. I try not to buy bulk stuff, and I'm going to contradict myself here in a minute, but I try not to buy bulk stuff of too many. But envelopes, I got a box of a thousand envelopes for $40, so, you know, stuff like that I don't mind. Sorry for the quick motion here. So this Raskog, I have three Raskogs in my room. I'm a big fan of them. I have them throughout my house. So this is like my mailing station. I know it's messy and I didn't want to straighten up too much because I wanted you guys to see what it really looks like so that I could be like a little bit more honest. But in this little section here, I keep stamps in my address book, um, stickers that go on the back of the cards. And then I keep all the pretty envelopes that aren't obviously I don't buy them in bulk and then I'll keep these slots that I take the bulk envelopes and put out so that's kind of like my mailing station the next two shelves are very disorganized um they're just bulk papers um I buy the stampin up paper in the multi-packs so I just throw them down there um and then this cabinet here 20 bucks at Walmart it's not that bad looking so you could throw that in a dining room or in a little corner of a kitchen and this is where I keep the stamps. Um, I mostly use Unity. It's just what makes me happy and what I like. Um, right there in this corner is stamps from other companies, um, which seems really kind of sad, but I, I do like other companies and I do have like a couple things from other companies, but Unity is what makes me happy. Um, it's the style that I like to craft with. So that's mainly what I have. So this area is pretty much a mess and does need to be rehauled. I did buy these plastic, a case of these plastic containers. Um, let me turn on so you can see the size of them. I got them on Amazon. And what my goal is, is to laminate the um, brown part and then stick the stamps on them so they're a little skinnier and then organize them. They're kind of semi-organized. I have um, Angie Girls in one. I try to keep flowers in another. Um, but I have to do that more. So that's kind of a work in progress. It's hard to find time. I do work full time. So it's hard to find a lot of extra time to do that. So on a cold rainy day that I'm feeling lazy, I might sit down in front of the TV and work on that a little bit. Um, so, uh, distress inks, I kind of use those all the time. Um, that container I found at a yard sale, um, it's cardboard. It works great, but that company's out of business. I tried to find it. Um, so sorry that you can't get that again. Uh, and I just keep a couple of my favorite cards. Um, this is from Joyce. This card here, oh, look how beautiful. If only I could create like that. It's um, from Melinda Stearns. She's one of my favorite artists. She sent me a card. And then a couple of my favorite cards. This is the card that won card of the month. I'm really proud of that. So I keep that displayed. Um, so just a couple little things around, you know, try to make your craft space your own. It does, you know, um, having a little bit of space for things that make you happy and things that you love are important. So this area here, um, and then this is just extra ribbons. I never use those. I probably haven't used those in years. Um, that one right there is, um, my gel press, stuff like that. So you kind of just stick things where you can, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I try to keep like th things together. So, um, 
because the room is so small and I didn't have room for other shelving, I got lucky that it happens to have a big shelf here with the window. I don't even have curtains in here because I wanted to keep as much light as possible. So this is where I contradict myself. I don't uh, try to overly buy. Um, and of course we all overly buy something you just sold, the stamps I have, but um, blade replacements for, for my cutter, um, ATG refills, I do usually buy those in bulk just because it's easier, you know, you buy 12 rolls or whatever. So that all stays in here. Um, the, what do you call these? It's not ribbon, but it's um, like twine and stuff that goes in there. Um, this is like my organized papers. I'll take the bulk stuff and keep this full. And the reason I have so much bulk paper, I don't normally do that is because unfortunately, um, a crafty friend had passed away and I bought, um, some of her papers when her family was getting rid of them. So up on top of here, again, when you're in a small space, you just use every little inch that you can. I use extra Gemini plates and then just some extra stuff. So this is how I keep my dies. Um, I'm in a small room. I'm a messy crafter. So for me, the envelopes for dies was not working because I would have that envelope on my desk, little, little dies would fall out of it and they wound up getting everywhere. So what I do is I do DVD cases and I can put usually two sets of dies in one. I just got these, so they're not like labeled or anything yet. But um, that works for me. I can kind of shut that when it's on my desk and keep it neat. Um, and that just works for me. So this cord right here, again, when you're in a small space, you utilize what you can. And um, there are certain things in here I can't put up shelving. I can't do things. So you just make it work. And this is a cord for cable, actually. So I actually clipped, you know, my scan and cut sheet to it. Um, card from Bobby Sue. Card from my Julissa, who's like, you know, crafting royalty right here. Um, Crystal Minker, this is from Cindy Knickerbocker. She um, was so good to me um, last year when I had COVID and I had lost my dog all within days of each other. And I was just really struggling. I'm going to get emotional. Handmade cards make a difference. Um, another card from Jalissa, um, Crystal Minkler. Cards make a difference. So... As much as we love to make cards, sending them is even more important than organizing and everything. Sending cards to people with little notes can change their lives. And getting those cards in the mail during that period um, helped me so much. So I'm getting off track. But anyway, uh, all the Tim Holtz dies I keep in there. Um, and then just extra cuddle bug plates. I'm going to spin you. Whoop. I did keep the cuddle bug. Power goes out. Gemini breaks. I can still die cut. Um, so I keep extra cuddle bug plates and stuff in there. So this is my desk. Um, I love my desk. What I did is a butcher block. And I'm going to explain to that one second. But let me pan over here real quick. Um, this table I refinished to match the desk. This box right here is all Christmas. So Christmas stamps. Some Christmas stamps are in that, um, like snowmen and stuff. They'll eventually come out and go in with this basket. So this is all Christmas embellishments, Christmas paper. All that stuff goes in there. Again, I kind of keep that separate. Scan and cut and Gemini go on here. This metal tin, I can throw the dies in there. Um, it's a magnet. I got it at um, Harbor Freight so that I don't lose um, dies when I'm working on them. So this Raskog is kind of important. Um, this is worked really, really well for me. Um, so let's go through this. I'm at 15 minutes. Um, if you guys can hang in with me, maybe another 10 or 15 minutes. Um, I talk a lot, hence the name of the chatty stamper. So I'm trying to be quick here. But anyway, in this section, I keep new stamps. These are the stamps that I'm excited about and that I want to use the most. Um, stamps that I want to work on this weekend. So this is the new background stamp from Unity. If you're a member, this is the stamp for this month. And I want to work on that next. So that one goes right in front. This basket here is where I keep all my black inks that I use constantly. This is my Versafine Claire, my Memento, my Gina K. Amalgam ink. These are the inks that I think every crafter should have and that I use kind of nonstop. Um, I could do a little ink video one day if that's of interest for like newbies. But those are the inks that I grab 99 every time I craft. Um, in here, I keep my artist tech paper. I use that often. The Masking Magic from Gina K. And this is what I do my cutting on. So I can grab that. 
um, Hero Arts came out with the, I think these might even be older, but they're like those infinity circles. So you use those kind of often. So I just keep them there because they're easy grab. The Bible cups, again, you get these at Ikea. I keep the glue. This isn't part of the bulk glue. This is the glue that I'm using every day. And they came in, you know, a pack of three. So I just keep those in here. Um, just my purple tape. That's the stuff I'm grabbing that that glue all the time but it's not on my desk it's kind of out of the way this i spray a lot of my cards with glitter so that's what that is um the second and third shelf of rascogs kind of get hard uh because you gotta kind of go down to get them so the second shelf uh i don't buy tons and tons of these i usually only get one at a time i got this on amazon i'm gonna give you the name of it it's really inexpensive um, but I always keep one extra. So when the first one starts to get low, I'll order that second one. And here is stencils. I keep this next to my desk because I'm going to use this all the time. And this is all my six by six, um, stencils. And this is just a six by six crap scrapbook that I got off Amazon. Those are the stencils that don't fit. And that box is just a box of other like little things and stuff. I could probably utilize that space a little bit more, but it's kind of hard to get to. In the bottom shelf, I just have um, ribbons and the papers that go inside of the Misty. It's kind of a wasted shelf. Um, sometimes the bottom shelf of the Rascogs are, are um, not utilized. I kind of try to keep things down there that I don't use that often. So my desk. Um, I had posted pictures of my crafty area um, a year or so ago, and I kind of got some some not nice comments about this. So if you don't have something nice to say, um, please just don't say it at all. My room's not fancy, but it works for me, and it makes me really, really happy. And I'm really happy to have a space that I can call my own. For the last 20 years, my crafting room was in my bedroom. So to have a place where I can go by myself and get away and craft is, is really nice. So, um... It might not be your cup of tea, but it's mine and it makes me happy. So anyway, this is the area that people were making fun of me for. This, I'm going to stand up and kind of go back here. This is what's under my desk. And people kind of were like, oh, how do you sit? Ha ha ha. You can't even sit at your desk. That's such a waste. And, 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 you know, I'm bringing it up because I don't want people to say nasty things to me because I take that stuff to heart. So this area right here, I love. I can sit all the way up into my desk. I can scooch my hiney all the way up there. They're not in my way and this is a really really great way to keep things that you use kind of constantly and i'll show you what's in them in a minute right here to my right i keep my cutter and my misties on the floor um so i can kind of keep as much room as i can on my desk on the side here i keep my um score pal that basket has all the bristol smooth paper in it and watercolor paper i use um bristol smooth uh, most of the time for anything wet or mixed media so that kind of stays there so let me put this away okay so my desk my desk um was really really old and when we moved into this house five years ago it had broken but the legs were fine so what we did is we kept the legs and we bought a butcher's block my husband got this for me it was my first real craft room purchase other than my old desk that was 20 years old so this butcher's block comes it's 200 dollars. i got it at lowe's it comes unfinished so we stained it and i lacquered it i also did that that was a used table that i got that was not pretty i actually think i have pictures of it on facebook i sanded it and stained it to match the desk so my desk i kind of keep this area clean this is kind of where i do my crafting and let me say that it's not clean while I'm crafting, but this is kind of like my working space. So I kind of keep a lot on my desk. Um, that's another reason why the Misty and stuff stays on the floor and I pick it up, you know, when I need it, it goes right back on the floor. So of course we all have a cup that we're using to keep our current markers in and stuff like that. Um, these are cute. Um, you use them to, I got my Simon says, they clean your brushes or stuff, but look how big that is. I thought that was fun. So this, um, people might think, I, I try to be practical. The reason I got this is to keep the things that I use constantly, things I'm grabbing for. So it's going to have three pairs of scissors. And I'm going to tell you why I have three pairs of scissors. And that's why this video is getting long. So I'm sorry. Cuddle bugs, fussy cutting, 
regular scissors for regular cutting and these are for um they are the teflon coated ones from fiskars and that's what i'm cutting my foam tape with so those are the three scissors that i'm using all day the tim holtz picker gotta have that for all your little detailed stuff and then tweezers and then my splatter brush so that that's the stuff that i try to kind of like put it back put it back so that it's not laying on my desk and i'm searching for it so that's why i keep this and the little roundabout that I'll show you in a minute. That basket in the back with the cute little Minnie Mouse in it, that has my, um, uh, like pixie dust, um, glossy accents, things like that. The cup obviously with blender brushes, again, using every little bit of space you can. ATG fits perfectly in there. So use it, I put it back there. Use it, put it back there. I try to keep it from laying on this area. Um, this little area right here, this is kind of like one of my favorite finds and I just found it. So it's not perfectly organized yet, but it's starting to be, um, in that first drawer, I keep the stamp tabulous, which is the pressure tool. Um, Angie Blom's sister makes them. They're really, really pretty. They're nice quality. Um, I keep that in there and the stamp that, um, Nick, who is Magnuson Custom Stamps made me that I use for the back of my cards. Those all go in there. This um, stuff, Coffee Stamp Chaos, um, makes these like little embellishments. Um, you can get them on her Etsy shop. That's Stephanie Vittorio. She's awesome. And of course, I like to support all my friends. So I bought a bunch of those and those go in there. This is just like little extra stuff, um, vellum tape. Um, this will go in that basket that you saw in the cabinet, but for now they're in here. These are new. These are all those like little grip paints and stuff from Tim. And then, then this one, this is my tape that I'm using to tape projects down. So I don't keep scraps. Unpopular opinion. I have no time. I have no space and I have no patience. So those little pieces of paper, I just throw them away. I know it's a waste. It's just what works for me. But I do keep white, black, gold, those type colors. And those stay in that basket. And the reason I do take those, color swatching, um, sentiments, things like that. And then every once in a while, I will empty that basket all the way out and I'll start over again. I keep tape um, dispenser with um, the low tack tape in it to tape down dyes, my Barely Art glue, pixie spray. And this is one of my children made this and I keep clouds in that. So I just keep that filled with clouds and I can grab those for cards. Um, the little late, I guess we'll call this a lazy Susan. I got this from uh, Pampered Chef a million years ago. I think they still make one. It might be black, not sure, but that's where I keep, you know, all the extra scissors, um, the little eraser. Um, this is what I clean off my desk, like powder, my perfect layers tools, that kind of stuff. So this area right here is kind of like back, um, in the corner, I bought that because I really liked it and I thought I could use it for my future room. I keep hand sanitizer and all my watercolor supply, like brushes and stuff in that, and just regular pens. Um, and that's kind of my desk. So why is this so cool and why do I love this? Um, even if I had a big fancy room, I would keep this area. So under here, bulk um, pre-cut, uh, that I pre-cut myself, um, card bases. This is your Not Your Mama's card stock, the heavyweight Gina K stock. It's what I use for card bases. I don't, I bought, you know, several of them to cut them. I mean, so I do buy some things in bulk, you know, paper, things that I'm using every day. Um, I live in a very small beach town. So um, this paper here, I use a ton. It's just the, the Walmart brand paper. Um, the reason I bought so many is because it sells out really quick there. Um... So I had to get a bunch of those and then baby wipes for cleaning up messes. So what I use these for, these are from Walmart. They're 12 by 12. They were $10. And what I keep in here is like embossing powders, things that you're going to use kind of constantly. Um, so that's all embossing powders. I have a lot of embossing powders. I got them from a friend. Um, watercolors, um, just some mixed media stuff. Um, these are the stamps that I probably have not used since I've lived here, but I don't have the heart to get rid of them. Um, and then the center console is where I keep all the Tim Holtz minis. Um, minis hold less ink, um, 
but they are space saving. So for me, it worked. So I got all the minis in distress ink and some of the little holders for them. Uh, this drawer is a mess, but I will say, um, when you keep things like this, you constantly have to go through it. And I'll probably mention this again. When you go through a drawer like this, you see what you have. So um, for me, it actually has worked, even though it's a mess and it makes me crazy, but I'm always kind of searching through it. And I'm like, oh yeah, I have that because you see it all the time. So that's why that works for me. Um, but that's like a little embellishment drawer. I do need to work on that. And I have thought about separating that stuff and putting it in that where I keep the um, punches. Uh, I have the full set of Gina K's in the minis, and those go there. That's new stamps that are coming out from Unity. I can't show you. I should give you a little sneaky peek, but I can't because I don't want to get in trouble. So um, I don't buy card kits very often. I think I've bought two. Um, that rainbow one I really liked, so I keep that down there. And some Tim Holtz stickers, and I don't even think there's much in there. On this side, I'm at 25 minutes. Guys, bear with me. I'm almost through. Um, again, I try not to buy bulk, but this stuff, um, it came with this many. So, uh, post-it notes. These are all the different sizes of snot dots, which is what I use for sequins, stamping blocks. Um, and then the rest of those are just like tablets and like stuff like that. Um, this is my paper area. Um, I don't buy, um, scrapbook or like a uh, pattern paper too much anymore. Very, very rarely. Uh, the gold and silver I do buy. But pattern paper, I just, I mean, we're so lucky to have like techniques and stuff now with um, stencils and stuff that there's not much of a use for it. But I am trying to use it. So that's where all that goes. Again, I have to search through it to find what I want. So um, I kind of have a pretty good idea what I have. And there's nothing wrong with purging it. I have purged, I gave away all my 12 by 12 paper. I kept a few of them for... Uh, um, backgrounds for picture taking and then I gave the rest of them to a scrapbooker for one I knew they would use it and for two I don't use it I didn't use it for years sometimes it's okay to get rid of stuff and a lot of people say what if it might come back in in style and I'm going to say this again I said it in the beginning then you buy new I mean if you can give it to somebody like a new crafter or a new scrapbooker a, um, a child that's getting into it it can make their whole day and, and you have less, less stress and less, like, it just doesn't take up any room. So this little mess right here is where I keep my, um, my, uh, Tim Holtz drawing tool. Um, I keep those plugged in. Make sure you keep those off. They are a fire hazard. So I put them in this so I can always keep it off. And the reason I keep it in a metal tin is so when I'm done with it, I can put it in that metal tin. I know it won't scorch or burn anything and this is my third and final rascog and this is copic markers this shelf you can get at ikea under here is all the refills this is all the fancier white paper i was keeping it under there but i moved it to over here because i didn't really have anything to put in the shelf so this is like the nina and the better pencils um better paper so more bible cups my um water bottles stuff that i use constantly um, and here I keep a um, stamp cleaner. Echo Noble got this for me for Christmas. Um, it's the Ink Off stamp cleaner. It's really, really nice. Um, I'm one of those people that I kind of just wipe off my stamps um, because I'm using red rubber. I just wipe them off so I don't get ink everywhere. Um, I, I've said this a million times. You use every inch that you can. So I just clipped this hobby holster to it because, um, and then I keep my stamp scrubby in it because it's right next to my desk. Um, this cute little piece of furniture I got when Pier 1 was going out of business. Um, they're not around here anymore. I don't know if they're still in business, but around here they're not. Um, they all closed. So I keep, this is kind of my mixed media area, my splat box. Um, these haven't been put away yet. They're all different kinds of sequins, all my Nouveau drops, all that kind of stuff is in there. Um, all my distress sprays, I love them. Um, I bought these to keep them in there. Um, I wish I could put shelving up and kind of display them all. I think I would use them more. It's kind of a pain to take all this out to get to one down there. Um, I have a hard time knowing what colors wear. So this area can definitely use some work. Um, these I absolutely love 
glitter and sparkle and these are all the sprays that tim came out with during the holidays they go in there um just like alcohol tissues just stuff like that in the bottom my tim holt stamps i don't have a ton of them uh, but they go there and then more mixed media stuff my journal for when i do play with that i will show you this oh, i hope i'm not making you guys dizzy and i'm at 30 minutes i'm sorry guys i'm just about done so this is a scrapbook holder it's supposed to be for pictures and i keep all my enamel dots in it that works real well for me um it's kind of big so it's kind of hard to like store anywhere so i just leave it on the floor and that's about it so that's my room um it's really small it's a work in progress i think um unless you have a big fancy room uh n not bagging on them I, I think it's great if you have the the ability to have one of those big fancy rooms more power to you if i had that opportunity uh, i'd be all over it but um it works for me um i guess i should turn this around on my face but the last time i did this i deleted the whole video so that's that um any questions um any ideas of things that i can do better please be kind um but if you have like a great idea oh before i go one of my favorite things let me show you before i forget uh, dang it i hope i didn't lose you these hooks i use these little command strips to flies like my um you know the, the foam tape stuff like that and cards from favorite people bobby sue crystal anyway um this uh all the little word sentiments that we get from um simon says i keep them all in here again i have to look through it so i have a pretty good idea what i have but these hooks are a great way to keep things like i have the tim holtz stencils on one uh, that's a great little way i have my perpetual calendar stuff like that so i can't believe i forgot to show you that that's like one of my favorite little tips is using the wall space i couldn't put shelves up so that's what worked for me so anyway i hope i kept you this long it's 30 minutes i tried not to be this long but uh it is what it is happy crafting um enjoy you guys have a great day Bye bye